Libya's new rebel leaders are seeking to restore order in the capital, Tripoli, encouraging fighters to either return home or join the army. Colonel Gaddafi still remains at large, and some parts of the country remain under the control of those who remain loyal to him. NATO continues aerial strikes on Gaddafi troops near his last stronghold, the city of Sirte, saying the UN mandate to protect civilians still stands. The coalition is also moving to release billions of dollars of the former leader's frozen assets to fund reconstruction. And while most Libyans are enjoying the first taste of revolutionary freedom, there are some accusations that NATO states are looting the vast oil riches. RT's Daniel Bushel reports on the powers lining up for lucrative energy contracts. Italy's top oil company Eni has already moved its workers back into Libya. Britain's BP is said to be in private talks with their interim government. French rival Tatal denies reports that France was promised a third of the country's vast reserves by rebels. But Alain Juppé, France's foreign minister, calls it fair and logical to favour those who've backed the winning side. The war against Gaddafi is not even over, but allies already appear to be fighting for the resources he once controlled. Actually, this war with this activism of Sarkozy, it was a war of France against Italy. Ownership of Libya's oil, say experts, is key to control of the country. Libya is a very uh, unusual economy in that it, it, depended, it depends entirely on oil production and, and the money coming from oil sales. Oil is so crucial, some Libyans call foreign sway on the sector an occupation, which they say they'll challenge. The Arab people will not uh, accept uh, such uh, occupation. He was speaking at a demonstration that's brought together North Africans and Europeans who oppose the takeover of Libya's resources. These people are denouncing what they're calling the looting of Libya. They say NATO states are stealing the country's oil under the pretext of helping its civilians. Libyan politicians say they should own their most important asset. But Libya uh, is a population and we, ha we have the right for self-determination. We don't want oil companies to determine our future. But analysts say rebels are set on rewarding states whose bombing helped them to power. Daniel Bushel,